Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to the Real Homeless of Dallas. Hey guys, we're live. We're live on the internet. Let's go. Clap it up. Clap it up from the Dallas Public Library. Was it, how hard was that? Not hard at all. That wasn't hard. Oh my God, I'm sweating bullets. It's hot as hell in here. Damn. What about you, Yolanda? What? What? Yeah. What? Because you're Native American, so what do you like to drink a little? That's what they say. No, uh, my choice of drug was uh, marijuana. A little marijuana, and now because of marijuana, you're down on your luck. Come on. Oh no, that's because I, uh, I don't quite know how to uh, say this, but it's just people out there that hates on your living, uh, and they try to keep you down, homeless, and so they took my housing. Some, people that was immigrants and gave it to the immigrants and now I'm fighting to get it back and I'm hoping to get it back soon but uh, I'm not for sure I just keep it in the hands that it belongs to and hopefully I soon get it back I hope so too. Where are those cigarettes I put on that table? Oh. Charles, put them out. Well, I'm going to give you some cigarettes. We're going to do them loosey goosey. We're going to earn it. Look at this. All of a sudden, they got the cigarettes in their pocket. How'd you pick which one gets the menthol and which one gets the red? <laughs> okay. Okay. You're slick. No, we're trading cigarettes. This is prison style. We're in the library, Yolanda. Always trying to play games so quick, Yolanda. And then Charles, you're not innocent either. You're playing games. You got the cigarettes here. I, I was like, where are my cigarettes? Yolanda, what about you? How did some man do you dirty? You ever been to jail? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, re not too long ago, uh, I was dating a guy, and um, I thought things would go well, but then he started wanting more, you know, and I did not want that. So I ended up... Uh, telling him no and he he got mad about it and so i had to dash some rice and boiling rice and grease on him he jumped up ah. yolanda you're <laughs> telling me so this guy was doing you dirty he mm -hmm. was trying to get frisky yeah and to pay him back you boiled some rice and grease because he put me in the head uh head, head like, yeah, no yeah head i know i know i believe in self-defense but i'm just saying that's how you got back at him yeah. what would the cops say when they got there he was all burnt up well they looked at him and checked him out and seen that uh it was what it was and they took me to jail and how much time did you do well it was a misdemeanor so i stayed in there for about probably a week or two Damn, Yolanda's tough. We like Yolanda. You get a cigarette for that, Yolanda. Ooh. Hey, you, uh, come on, what's the best stealing story you've ever stolen? Uh, my, okay, I had a, my, I bought a truck. I was at the Union Gospel permission embarking in on the discipleship program on the Dr. David, uh, not Dr. Uh, Bruce Butler. Okay, I'm, 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 you know, taking it, taking it and learning. And uh, something took place and it's kind of messed me up in the head because I was waiting on some money and the money came. But when the money came in, when another disciple was having words about it. What's a disciple? Is a, to be Christ-like. They was the Oh, so public. this is a Christian program yes, it is a that Christian you got base. caught up stealing a car? No, no, no. He got caught up stealing my money. And it's like, then he started buying stuff like buying his mama house and buying gadgets like these. Her, and it's yeah, like, he's buying but microphones. But he admitted it. He's buying microphones? Yeah, he admitted, when, he, when he admitted it, I started seeing some strange older gentlemen, and then I could hear the Holy Spirit tell me, I said, Charles, that's the police. And I said, wow. Okay, I said, well. But the Wait, hold on. The Holy Spirit told you who's the police? It was a gentleman sold up because it, he was doing the investigation about the money to see who it was that, you know, did a rubber stamp on it and cash. It was 150, 150 lower. Hundred fifty thousand dollars. You stole one hundred fifty. No, it was mine. It was like a royalty check came for me while I was there. Why would you get some sort of hundred fifty thousand dollars royalty if you don't mind me asking? Uh, that? Well, uh, it, it probably was a movie star because you were a movie star. No, is what you're no. saying? No, I uh, I was with my mom. Yeah, and she dated and some movie star. No, I had to find out about her. Come turn around, Mr. Will Smith, the actor, wrote me a check for three hundred thirty thousand dollars. Okay. Will Smith, the guy that slapped Chris Rock? Chris Rock to get Chris Rock to, to see. <laughs> no, you're telling me Will Smith. Yeah. Big yeah. Willie style. Big Willie style. Yes. <laughs> yes. And uh, I had to forgive because I saw the way that the money was maneuvered after she <laughs> did that. Because it's like, okay, you sign it, I sign it, and then you stick it in your account. Why did you get money from Will Smith? I don't know. The, that's not the only time that that happened. 
Mr. James Earl Jones came to Dallas about 150, but James Earl Jones, James the actor, Earl. wasn't he in Star Wars too? Yeah, <laughs> and it was strange. You know, it was strange, but I wanted to try to call them back on the phone. Cause did I, you have a relationship with these men? No, no. Because you know they say Will Smith's gay. Uh, well, he was in 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 in, in uh, what you call it, Man in Black. He told him, he said, uh, told the young guy, he said, "Have you ever had sex with a man?" I said, I'm weird. I'm weird. Come on, let's stop. You know, don't tell everybody. But the deal was. Wait, so you're telling me that you know Will Smith like that, Charles? Yeah, he won't. To see, but at that time, him and Jada was going through. They did, like, what are we doing now? They was on cable. Charles, so, are you messing with me? Because I don't know. You are. I think you're no, telling me the truth. No, we was. I was watching the whole mm. tape about him and her. You know who Will Smith is, right, Yolanda? Yeah. Mm. I kid you you think he's telling the truth, Yolanda, you that not. he got a check from Will Smith? Look at Yolanda's skeptical as hell. Look at Yolanda's skeptical as hell, Yolanda. The, Did he get a check? Yeah, it, it came, but someone else busted down and did a party because she wanted to. She used it. To, Who's she, that girl or Jada? <laughs> no, my mother. My God, my mother. I think but I just exposed you. I think you might have had a gay relationship no. with Will Smith. Oh no! I, Look at I, you I smiling. <laughs> Look at you smiling. No, you know no. Will Smith's gonna see this. If he see it, then he can know where I'm at. Because then he'll know. Will, that, that. we're gonna send this to Will Smith's agent as soon as we're done here. Have you ever done sexual favors for crack? Debauchery. Yes. Yeah. Debauchery. Way back in the day, they had a male host role on. Uh, when the old ambassador tell when, them what a host troll is. It was where the old ambassador building used to be at when they tore it down. Yeah, but people are right now, we got over 300 people, they don't know what uh, well, a whole uh, host troll is. A host troll, where well, the host of them changed, this is up there off of Regal Road now, and that's where all the prostitutes walk Ooh, around. That part, but you said there was a male, this was male, so uh, the guys who walk around the street. Yeah, Ooh. trying to sell tricking. their dick. Have you heard yeah. about this? You know, yeah. yeah. that's tricking. That's yeah, tricking. Yeah. So, you tell me I the mean, guys trick because I see the girls how they do it. Is they dress like women, so they're, they're transgenders. Like, yeah. yeah. Oh, so it's a yeah. guy dressed, dressed like, like a, a woman. woman. Oh, <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. Now, and so what? So you're telling me you put on the pantyhose and the shoes and dress like a woman? No, no, I was. Uh, at that time, I was letting my addiction get the best of me. Yeah. So, but my mother, she told me, she said, "Do not let no one use your ID and all that." There. All of a sudden, out of the clear blue sky, a guy walked up to me and said, hey, man, you got ID? I said, yeah, you want to come go with me? Oh, my. They got greedy, though. When I, I bust down one chick, and he got me. You bust down a yeah, chick. He, down, said, he, he said, Charles, he, I want you to bang this chick. Said, I want to do said? it again. He said, I want to do it again. It's like, what about you, Yolanda? How's your dating life? Mm, about nine months ago, the same guy that I was called. <laughs> I mean, he, was, he turns out to be a, you know, Asshole, but now he's free. I don't miss now. Him. You're talking to that guy again, the guy you burn up with all that hot grease. Because look at this. I mean, you guys can't write this up. This girl burn up a guy I, with hot grease. I, I, I thought it was uh, they was using the form of like I bring get some hot grits thrown on you. That's what she did, rice basically. I mean, it's yeah. the same thing as grits. Almost. When you want to throw in, you don't put the butter in the grits. No, I put the, the I put the uh, grease in it. Oh, you put the grease in it and you threw it on. I, oh my. <laughs> oh. oh, you put hair grease in it? Oh my uh, God, that yeah. hair grease is extra yeah. hot. Charles, tell him about what you and Will Smith used to do. Uh, nothing. Big Willie style. Nothing. nothing. Yes, just, you yeah. did. No, you did. did some sexual stuff. Well, why would he give you a check for $300,000? I, I don't know. I was going to write a letter to him, but after he, he struck at the, what's we call it, at the, at the uh, what was that, the Grammys? Yeah. When he struck him at the Grammys, I bagged up. But this was after. The money came after that because I was I sit and watch the whole take of him and you're Jay. telling me you got a three hundred thousand dollar check after he slapped. Uh, you're sure you're on antipsychotics? No way! Why are you gonna come up on the podcast and lie like that? Will you know? You know? You know you're you're gonna be the next one he slapped. Yeah, you know? you're gonna be. He always slapped your ass. <laughs> Don't slap me, Will. Please. No, you don't slap, slap him, Will. I'm not in the mood. Don't slap me. <laughs> I'm telling you, Will Smith's gonna see this. That's good. I'm That's flipping good. this. I'm saying Will Smith, okay. but just admit that you had sex with Will Smith. No, no, he see. <laughs> admit that he sucked on yours. No. Oh. Did he do that? Because that's what I heard he does. No, it. See, my mama. Did he mama. pay you to bang? Did he pay you to nothing, bang Jada? Nothing. But was, you just said you did swinging. Has somebody ever paid I you? Have, to, I so I they have paid you to swingers, have swingers. sex with a man. But wife. it wasn't. But how annoying <laughs> are the customers at Starbucks? What's the most? Because they. 
You write the names wrong. I know you write the names wrong on the cup on purpose. First time they put they Happens said everybody. my cup. I was rude to the woman because I, I wanted extra sprinkles, and she wrote Fat Alex on the cup. <laughs> oh, yeah. I said my name's Alex. She wrote Fat Alex, <laughs> and I would have thrown it on her, but I didn't want to waste all those sprinkles. She put a lot of sprinkles on. You know, I'm not sprinkles, but chocolate flake that. Uh, <laughs> Whatever that caramel thing they put on it, the Muncher Crunch in the new one, but it's so it's such a rip off. Yeah. Mm. What do you mean? Sh- <laughs> <laughs> They're charging eight dollars for a, a vintage coffee. And if the right person makes it, tip them a dollar too. Tip them a dollar uh-huh. too. Okay, why don't African Americans? Why uh, do they always get blamed for not tipping at those restaurants? <laughs> Is that true at a Starbucks when you'd have a black customer come it's in? It's not like, true. They would tip you a lot. That's a stereotype. It's and fake. that stereotype is fake. Because I know a woman that works in Chili's, and every Sunday they got a black church that goes in there, and they tip zero dollars. Oh. Mm. Yeah. They got 12 people. You ever heard about that happening? Mm. Nobody's ever bought 12 lattes and give a zero dollar tip? I've been one time in the past, like, 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> Did you tip the waitress? I didn't even get I got lemonade. <laughs> You didn't tip then, did you? <laughs> so, I mean, what I mean, what did I do? How did I know that you've been in Chili's and didn't tip? You didn't tip on that lemonade, you could have tipped a quarter or a cigarette. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, Trump or Kamala will only because I love my grandmother. She voting for Trump. I gotta go with Trump. Look at the Trump. He's not afraid to be a black man voting for Trump because your grandmother will. See, yeah, she loves Trump. How does that work? How do you even get a house for the people here? You just go and sign up because, uh, but then it take forever because there's no availability. So, like, how long do you have to wait? Yolanda, you got a free house? Well, what I did is, um, I just basically was sleeping like in shelters. Yeah. And then once, um, once, uh, like three weeks, I got my housing. <clears throat> Section eight, but then, like I say, the um, the the people that was over the apartments I was staying in was immigrants, and they they didn't like you at the Section eight place because you take your voucher there, right? Yeah, well, they they like me, <clears throat> but they was trying they trying to use my information, like my to get name, more loans or whatever. Yeah, our name and my social security number and stuff. So, but you do need that to rent an apartment. And that's what I'm fighting for. That's what I'm fighting for. Uh, but like right now, in um, I'm just been sleeping outside, and it is spooky. Because- Every night you're sleeping outside, Yolanda. That kills me because it's so hot. When you say outside, you go under a bridge, or what do you go at night? Well, I sleep in a park. And then where? Like on the ground, or on a like on a? It's chair? like on a platform like thing, but in a sleeping bag. It's kind of like camping, but not in the dirt. And then will there be other people sleeping next to you? Yes. And you're an attractive young woman. I'm not just saying that you are. Are you always? Are you ever worried about a man trying to attack you? Being because you are a very tiny woman as well. Yeah, that's why I try to sleep around other people that you know that can watch out for me and make sure that no one comes up on me or anything. Is the community tight? Like, are there people within that that park that you do trust to have your back? Yeah. I'm hearing that echo too a little. I don't know. See if you're on the show. Maybe it's just in here because it plays on the speaker, but. And that that kills me though that you're sleeping outside at night, but you got the Section Eight voucher. Why can't we go get that house or that apartment? Because there's multiple apartments. Because um, the, these apartments do not want to let me. Um, they don't want to give up my information. My. But that's not the kids. only Section Eight place. Once you go to one of these other Section Eight places. Because I have to sign out that house. Oh, because you're already I'm locked in. into theirs. Yeah, and once I sign that contract off that contract, then yeah. I can go look for another apartment. And they won't let you off that contract because they're still billing the city or the section eight they're program. They building on so they're building off of me with someone else. So somebody else is in that apartment that really should be yours. Yes, exactly. Look at Charles over there falling asleep, Charles. Yeah. This is what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing. I'm trying to meet people down here. This is our first episode. All right. okay. This is the real homeless of Dallas. What I want to do is I'm so sick of City Hall screwing us over, helping out these illegal immigrants. What I want to do is I want to get a coalition of people that are unhoused that need help. And I want to go up there. And I want to go speak at city council meetings and I want to go talk to these politicians and I want to be able to get our message out online. So somebody will actually help send them American home. Citizens. That's yeah. what I say, because it's just showing send who home? the immigrants, because Ooh. first of all, we have no jobs that's making a lot of people like me and other people homeless. 
And when we get homeless, it's hard for us to get a place. It makes us also, if you got someone that's got a house, that's looking for a job, and then you got someone that's homeless, they got that same education or that same skill, they can't get that job because that they're going to give it to the person that's got a house that's stable. Yeah. So we got to deal with these immigrants. And I'm not even but the immigrant, immigrants. But... They're coming in. And the thing about it is what I'm it's the most important thing is that it's like what I'm going through. They're not going to take your housing. They're going to take your life. They're going to take your social security, your name, and they're going to use that to their ability, not yours. And then once you, and then once they're through with it, because it happens a lot in California where they buy your birth certificate or your ID or your social security number. And that's exactly what I think through my um, landlord and manager where I stay is that these people have bought my information from them. And when I tell them that I need that to move on, they're, well, you're not in our system. Well, how is that when you got me here and I haven't signed off? We need to get you an attorney to help deal with this. So we're going to go to city council. Yeah, we got to go to city council. What kind of drugs do you see people doing up at the park? I see they don't, they try, most people try to stay humbled about that to where I'm saying like they'll walk off and go around somewhere and do it. And come do back. what though? Fentanyl or what? What's the big drug people are doing? Crack? Well, because that's expensive. a lot of people are now trying this drug called crocodile. Crocodile. And, yeah. And it eats you from the inside out. I've and heard about I've, that. And I've been... actually seen people like that. You would think they got the shingles, but yeah. it's not the shingles. Have it's... you seen crocodile, Charlie? No. Wait, crocodile. So, have crocodile. you seen it? Yeah. What croco what? It's, 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 it's like crocodile, but it's crocodile. It's crocodile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's this like, is a new drug. You haven't heard about it. I've heard of fentanyl. So they have heard of Trank that does that. They it's, have a Vice episode that came out years ago. It's probably like 2010 or something like that. And it was on like the worst drugs in the world. And that was almost like number one on there. You seen it's somebody done crocodile? I don't want to look at it. And what do the people look like? Their 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 flesh has been eaten from mm. the inside out. Exactly. Are they still sticking needles in their arms and stuff like that? Yeah, that's why they get mm. it in. They put a needle in their arm, like you going to the doctor to get a shot, but instead of getting a shot and them drawing blood, they're putting chemicals in their body like that. So who are you voting for, or can you vote? Well, I can vote. I stay independent. I like Donald Trump. I don't know about Camilla because. I don't really know her output, but Donald Trump have helped the people. And so if I have to choose, it will be Donald Trump. Yeah, and I can't say it because we're online right now, but my producer will pay you a lot of money if you go vote for Donald Trump. Yeah. All right. I know a guy for you auto blow. <laughs> he'll, yeah. he'll, he'll, he'll help you out. Hey, Alex, the chat is asking, do they think Kamala is black or Indian? Yeah, what do you think? Is she mm -hmm. fully black? Indian. No, she's Indian. She, is that Dominican to me? Yeah, yeah, she's a Jamaican. <laughs> well, like, but you just I, said an African is different than a regular American black guy, right? Explain the difference. Yeah. What's the difference between an, or Yolanda, what's the difference between an African guy from Africa and a black guy from America? The difference is the language. The language, uh, they speak different languages. A black guy will speak English, and Africans, they speak uh, African. They do, yeah. but I feel like I have to deal with a lot of African guys. They speak English, and the accent is different. The accent's different, but yeah. how's the personality? Well, they are. Uh, well, they don't I'm gonna them. I'm gonna be honest. To me, an African guy, they're stubborn, and the uh, <laughs> the well, African no. women are That's very <clears throat> bullheaded. I do you date? Shout out single? to Mavericks. Is it is it hard to date? As a barista, does you get a lot of chicks? No. <laughs> Have you ever been paid for sex? Charles says that he has. Ooh. That's a no? Everybody has. Well, Yolanda, have you? Somebody's paid you for sex? Well, yeah. So you've done a little bit of side? Well, line? yeah, a little bit. Tricking. Not much. Yeah. And were the Johns Johns or the guys that you knew? How did you do it? Well, uh, just basically, you know, if I think he's cute and he's hot, yeah, 
I like him. Listen, a life is about second chances. We don't need to be ashamed to. We already need to be unapologetically ourselves because we can always change. It's like the caterpillar turning oh, to the butterfly. Oh, you know what? So, since you brought it up, yeah, we brought a couple it. months ago, I was at Parkland in the line with Long at the Starbucks. Yeah. So I just took one of them spray cans and I drank it right there and I just went to my appointment. When I came back downstairs, they told me to pay for it. So. You know what I do? You know what I do? Is I go to Chipotle and they put all the orders on that rack. I'll go grab two or three bags. See, I'm door dashing. I'm door dashing. I look at the I look at the receipt and it says Juan Diego. I'm Juan Diego's door dasher. Mm. I've gotten free burritos the past six months. You ever done anything like that? Mm-mm. Go to McDonald's. This is what I want you to do next time. Go to McDonald's, and this is not financial advice. Okay. And say, I'm Charles, I'm the door dasher. I'm putting my phone just died. I'm picking up an order. They're just going to give you the food and just run out and just eat the food. Okay, yeah. So, Will, what do you think the shape of the earth is, round or flat? No, no. It's round. What about you, Yolanda? I think it's round. Wow. What about uh, 9-11? Do you think 9-11 was an inside job, Will? Do you think the government was conspiring against American citizens? If rent- not our government, it was someone else's government. You do think you know? so? Yeah. yeah. I think it, I, what I think is that they got back at us for something that our government did to their government. Stole money from their government and they came and wiped our government out. Do you think there's a, a, a ring of elite Hollywood pedophiles that rule the world? He can come on. Is that guy? Do you want to come on? Come on, yeah. Get that guy. Have that guy come on. Yeah, I think so. You do think? Yeah, I think think there's elite pedophiles that rule the world. Yeah, and I think they're undercover. They're not going to say. You think they're lizard people, (laughs) or they're on the run? That's what it would be. Yeah, there's lizard people. You're in the reserve. Did you see Tim Walls, the guy running for vice president, was in the reserve? I've seen Tim Walls. Mm-hmm. He lied though and said he went and did a bunch of stuff in Afghanistan and really he was just in Europe. Oh, he just misspoke. That's all. He wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't. <laughs> he, wasn't, he, wasn't he wasn't literally trying to convince people that he he actually cared. He actually had been in war and carried weapons. Has carried Kamala weapons has Kamala Harris done enough to help our homeless veterans? I don't believe she has. Or do you think Joe Biden has? Has she done enough to help homeless veterans? Well. I'm not sure about that. What about all the stuff she's done to help illegal immigrants get free hotels and free airplanes? Do you get any free hotels? Well, I'm kind of confused because some people say Kamala Harris is a DEI hire. Yeah, I do. They say <laughs> they say she has no responsibility. I say that. Some say <laughs> some say she was hired because she's black. Oh, I say she's in But Asia. now she's I, I argue with a guy about this all the time. She has no responsibility. She doesn't do anything. She just, you know, uh, vice president's title. Yeah. But now all of a sudden, she's responsible for illegal immigrants getting twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars a month. Yeah, and what are you dollars. getting a month? <laughs> and you're still gonna no, listen to me though. You're a homeless man struggling, barely got a pot to piss in, and this bitch gets to be the vice president. <laughs> And she's going to give some Venezuelan that's probably got a criminal history longer than anybody in this room a free hotel room. Why doesn't that make you mad as a veteran, a guy that risked his life, put it on the line to protect this country, and you got her selling you out to some Venezuelan with the last name Perez? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, I'm, I didn't I'm, know that one. <laughs> okay, I'm stuck on that one. What, economics? Yeah, because I don't want to go to work. You don't want to go to work. I do. do, but all the jobs are taken. All the good ones. Yeah. I was a photographer, and mm-hmm. I lost my job due to um some people that was from another country, from another part of the city or state, and they came over, and um I caught the flu because they coughed over me while I was. They gave you just, COVID. No, they, they had gave me the flu. Yeah. And I had to be down for three days to a week. And when I went back to work, they was like, no. But 
these same people want to rehire me and they at they at medieval times. So I'm thinking about Oh, me. go to medieval times. You took the photo of medieval <laughs> times? Uh-uh. It was in uh, uh Wimp. You need to go work at medieval times, go deal with the horses. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Well, tell Mr. Payne who you're voting for because your grandmama told you right. Donald. Mr. Mm -hmm. Donald Trump. He's voting for Donald Trump. I'm voting for Donald A Trump. A black man voting for Donald yeah. Trump. How does that make you feel, Mr. Payne? Well, I've heard any 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 black person who likes Donald Trump has slave master syndrome. Ooh. Ooh. I didn't say that, Dr. Umar Johnson. I like Dr. Umar Johnson. Well, you know what he says too? Black men shouldn't be dating what color women? White. Do you agree with that? I don't agree with that. You don't? But what does he say? What does tell the people what Dr. Umar know. said? I don't I'm about not, snow I'm bunnies. Not, I'm not sure where he stands on that. Issue. You've never heard Dr. Umar talk about that? I haven't listened to him. He says he's not supposed to, to mix. That's what Dr. Umar says. Not about not supposed to mix like that. Mm -hmm. And that it weakens the Nubian bloodline. And that these black Nubian princes like Yolanda, even though she's part Native American, mm -hmm. they deserve an all black males. What he says, I don't know if I... I well, like I Tiger believe, Woods. I'm a big Tiger Woods fan. I believe love is colorblind. You do I, so? I, I do believe that. Have you ever dated a white woman? Yes. Who's a bigger headache, black woman or white woman? <laughs> <laughs> uh... I see kind of equal there. Say something well, it controversial. It was a personality. It was a Who's better in bed? White or black woman? Black woman better in bed. They are? Because they're more giving? Well, Richard Pryor, Richard Pryor already explained that. Did he explain it? What did he say? <laughs> yeah, what I, he I've seen his special. Yeah, he, says, uh, he says white, white women don't make any noise. But, <laughs> but he says a black woman, he says a black woman said, Oh goddamn, Daddy! <laughs> <laughs> you guys heard. You guys heard live when the sun said. I did. I just don't remember it like. I heard Richard what you said live when the sun said. Richard Person. <laughs> so even though you met this young man, Will, that's going to vote for Trump, you're still going to vote for Kamala Harris, who won't help veterans, who gave a BJ to Willie Brown when he was the mayor of San Francisco. Well, the problem I have with Donald Trump is after his four-year term. I mean, he had his own vice president on the run. Yeah. His own vice president had to grab his family and run for their lives while people mm, are outside. Isn't that a little, I mean, people are outside chanting, uh, hang Mike Pence, hang Mike Pence. And he, all the while knowing that the vice president didn't have the power to overturn the election. Okay, but let me say this. You think January 6th is bad. You know they were able to reconvene within three hours and certify the election, though, right? I didn't know that. Yeah, it took three hours. So what about when the TV says that January 6th was worse than 9-11? Do you agree with that statement? January 6th? Oh, no. Oh, no. Not even close. Not even close. So you're intellectually honest about that. Uh -huh. I don't want a woman president. And you do? Yeah. Why? Why? I mean, what is what is for change? And like, also, <laughs> also, I mean, like, it's good in a little bit, well, because you see. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, I, I think. No, this way here. Let's come like mm -hmm. a little closer. To oh, oh, I got yeah, you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Speaking so, of the mic. Right there, so, like, I think that if a woman became president, it would just, it would let everyone else exercise how much they can help her. You know, because like that didn't make we, any we, sense. You want a woman does, president so other people can help her? Yeah, I mean, because like we've month? never had a woman president before. Yeah, because women are too emotional. Yeah, <laughs> yeah teach her to be tough. Then, yeah, you want to tell true. I mean, I feel like she'll be thrown off by the first nice looking dude that comes along. And, you know, <laughs> she don't have any kids. She have she don't really have a husband, so she's pretty much ain't doing nothing. So. This will be her stepping stone, but then it and can also yeah, some, then some guy can come along and just throw her off, and that'll throw the whole world off, and then there'll be a bunch of chaos in the flesh. Uh, I think she's already stronger than that. Got to be that trying to be vice president. I don't know about that. Yeah, for I mean, real? I don't know. All you got to do is network <laughs> that and have buddies. That's what I'm saying. She networked that whole thing. Yolanda, you're a genius. Yolanda's one of the <laughs> smartest people in this room right now. Well, obviously, by now, people that have seen, anybody that's seen enough of Kamala Harris knows that 
She's not going to be a pushover. Yes, yeah, she is. She's going to be legs <laughs> over the head pushover. Yolanda knows it. I mean, you're talking about the top. <laughs> she's going to get some rich Iranian guy, some good looking Iranian guy, tan skin, and he's going to be some sort of she's spy. Already, she's already, yeah, she's already that's, married. That's, 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 that's it. And she, you don't think with these women cheat and do stuff behind the guy's oh, no. Have you ever cheated? I've never cheated. Have you ever been cheated on? I've been cheated on. How did that make you feel? It hurt. For a little while. Was it a girlfriend or wife? Girlfriend. Then had you busted. But we were it was uh there was a little turbulence. Yeah, so the things were a little rocky. Relationship during the time. <laughs> and but how did you bust her with another man? Oh, uh, it was uh it was a grapevine. I heard it through the grapevine. No <laughs> You never beer. experimented with beer, marijuana, alcohol. No cocaine? No cocaine. Why not? scared let me see i i recall this uh this one incident mm -hmm. i was about 15. all right my brother and two of his friends we were all in the bedroom and they were doing cocaine yeah and <clears throat> what the white guy it was white guy me and my brother and another black guy the white guy offered me they were snorting coke yeah, and what year is this? Would you get this? Was about 1976. I was 15. You're 15, and they're snorting, they're snorting cocaine. No, the white Caribbean guy, offered marching me. powder, <laughs> and uh, no, that was a that was a New York Yankee baseball lines, uh, baseball lines. That's how big the lines that are. was cowboy baseball, that was cowboy football. Lines. They were, that's you're talking big, about, that's, that's how big football. the lines were, like, <laughs> like on the football field. But I turned it down. And when I turned it down, he went like this. What does that mean, box you out? And then, I didn't know what it meant at the time. Oh, because you wouldn't do a Matter little Matter of fact, cocaine. I didn't know what it meant. He, he was calling me square. Oh, yeah, you're square as hell. <laughs> Gene, you're square as hell. What about you, Yolanda? Did you ever experiment a little booger sugar? Mm -hmm. That sounds like a yeah. No, no. Just only like, alcohol, but then I didn't like the way it made me feel. I went, I drank some alcohol. We was drinking for a house party, yeah. and I thought I was in the bathroom, and I peed in my uh, best friend's bedroom on the floor. No, <laughs> they came in there and they said, <laughs> "Man, they talking about you know where you're at." I said, "Yeah, I'm in the bathroom on the toilet." They say, no, you're in my bedroom, pissing <laughs> in the middle of the floor. <laughs> Donald Trump has already stated that if we win this election, there will be, everything will be fixed. Everything will be fine. There will be no need for anybody to vote anymore. He's going to do it. He's going to take over the Department of Justice. He's going to, it's going to be a dictatorship, just like his buddy. Who told you this? <laughs> Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Trump didn't say that. Donald Trump said that. Where did he say that? Yeah, Gene, what do you think about all those kids on gender hormones and cutting off women's breasts? I don't think they can hear. Uh-uh. I don't, I don't, I don't think that's wrong. Some of that's wrong. You do think well, that's gender, wrong? Uh, gender cross. Uh, yeah, transgenders. Trans, do you think it's okay for young kids? Changing genders. Yeah, what do you think about that? Uh, I don't know. What about you, I Yolanda? Call that my what I think thing. happened is that um, a lot of the kids started having mind issues and had to get on had to get on meds mental health meds and uh they start taking them and it wasn't enough research to check that medicine out and they ended up growing breasts so they couldn't they feel like what well, i can't be out there as a boy if i got breasts so they start changing themselves up into women's so they was forced to become a a, a a man to a woman what about will what do you think about all that transgender stuff will I think that they just waste some money. I ain't gonna say waste some money. If you want to change your gender, change your gender. But you think it's okay for children to get on life changing hormones that are 
irreversible? Kid better read. It was my kid. They just have to read a book. So you wouldn't let your kid do that? <laughs> Change the draws, and that's it. What about you, Gene? So you wouldn't let your one of your kids become a female if he was born? Oh boy? no! Our system's not fair. Is life fair, Gene? No. Why is that? Why is life hard? <laughs> no, why is it hard? Because I notice the older I get, the harder it gets. And even if I get some sort of financial success, then my cat dies mm-hmm. or then my car breaks down. Yeah. You know I'm saying every time something good happens, two bad things happen mm-hmm. right at the same time. Well, there's a scripture. There's a scripture I go by. It's James 1 and 7. It says, Consider it pure joy, my brother, whenever you face trials of many kinds. Because trials and tribulations develop perseverance. Perseverance must finish its work before we can be mature and complete, not lacking anything. That's just an excerpt from the scripture. So we got to persevere is what you're saying. Yes. Damn, life is and tough. it goes with it goes with the Bible saying we're going it goes with the Bible saying that we we will have a lot of tests, you know, in life. They, they don't necessarily use the word fair or unfair, but we know it's you know, unfair. meaning the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know who Mr. Eugene looks like? Who? Neil deGrasse Tyson. He does. He has Neil deGrasse Tyson vibes. <laughs> we got to fight. And we got to fight with words because they'll throw us in jail if we fight with our hands. That's right. So what we got to do is we got to come together. And now I want you guys to spread the word that Primetime 99 Pimp on a Blimp is going to come here and like I said, I'm going to build a coalition. It's going to be white, black, brown, Latino. I don't care who's in it, but I want people that are felt like they've been persecuted by the system. I'm so fly, I'm in line with the planes. My grind's so refined, I got no time for no games. Ask yourself 